Yeah. Somebody that's winning is gonna think that's a good idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> They're gonna be like, hey, like, 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 where's a game I wanna play? <laughs> Neil used to love these games. He used to like, nonchalantly throw the call in and. That's how he used to play all these live games. And he actually used to just own this game in a sense for a while, didn't he? Like, yeah, he did own, own all cash games around London and the V. He owned these live games for a, for a long spell. Some people are Made a lot of money. No, he I don't think he's even playing the tournaments. I think he just signed. Race of 2000. He's signed in the sick of tournaments. Pass. 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 you got to ring and on the next break. So <coughs> you gotta to do what? To see if he's coming? Yeah, see if he's coming. Uh, uh, poor Barney. I think he actually probably does quite fine here. <laughs> he doesn't know to <laughs> Had a quick look at him. <laughs> make sure he couldn't look at his cards. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> he's had a terrible time in these televised cash games, party. Of course, he did recently win his first WSOP bracelet. That was big. Yeah, I was chuffed for him. I like Barney a lot. Check. Been around years, had a lot of bad luck, and uh, he deserved it. Two five. He's going to feel like he doesn't deserve this. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> you know the one I'm talking yeah. about? Where Antonio had nothing. Nothing. He turned the gut out. Really big bet at this stage, and it, it's, this game wasn't playing huge. I mean, the pot actually. Yeah, and he's, this type of play was a lot stronger back in the day if someone re raised you before the flop and then bet the flop. It was, you know, it was a lot stronger than it is these days. They could just. But, uh, so. Well, obviously not. They were still doing it with a seven deuce. <laughs> I mean, Bodo's really supposed to go for it on the turn here, isn't he? Or is it just because we know what Barney has? I would bet twice here, I think, and give up because I think they could call the flop with hands like jacks, tens, you know, even eights and things like that. Uh, maybe ace queens, and then I would just bet one more time. I think once they call again, they, it's more likely they have like a king. So I would probably shut down on bluffs after they call turn. It really actually ends up being not a really strong way for Bodo to play the hand. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> <It's kind> of... <laughs> yeah. That party goes for the old value bet. Oh, yeah, this is not going to make too much sense now when he raises. 4,500. Okay. I guess he's just going to call the way he's... Okay. This was actually the first uh, people really got to know Bodo. And then afterwards, uh, you know, he became, I think he played in nearly every big game. It's, it's done quite well. This is pretty strange for someone to just be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Especially so if he bad. goes in for a raise, that'd be brilliant. So you bad. said just call, you wanted to That hand so got bad. him a sponsorship wow. deal. Really? Uh, yes. He gave Barney yes. Boatman a headache. I can I change. Well, three betting with the ace jack here. Well, five betting. <laughs> five betting on open raising. Wow. Leon, Leon the seven deuce off suit. All in for a hundred thousand. <laughs> I was gonna do that. He has come to play. This is that kind of game for sure. There's people behind you. I know, I'm seeing it. Robert actually not in quite, in quite a decision here. It's funny last last night when I was watching the Omaha game, I thought that it would uh, you know be be more interesting than the Holden game, but it turns out the Holden game is just as much action as the Omaha. You're right. You're right. Normally, I have a hand this time. Holden cash games are a little tamer, you but think I not with these guys. Robert, you show me looks... one. I'll show you one. <laughs> I don't think Liam can agree to that. <laughs> I see the only player on the table, Rob Cookall, 100,000 with ace jack is uh, against Leon. We need to pay the 100,000 and then maybe. I don't know. It shows the decision of mine. Chasing Rob getting some information. Leon's not happy to expose wow. a card, so. <laughs> Pretty tough to expose exactly a card. Exactly 100,000. You've got 7 news, so it might lean Rob more towards a call. I can fold this hand. Yeah, Leon had a big pair, he might give Rob the option to turn a card over. One hundred, 
100,000 euros in the middle here. I'd be scared calling the 600. <laughs> we can talk, it's all right. <laughs> friends. Okay, give him it. Wow. Show me a back. Show the black. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I need to see a Chicken, you will lose. Chicken, you will lose. Oh, seven. You're going to call me. You must have paid with this. And for Annette Overstadt, most people obviously think of her as primarily a tournament player, but as she showed in the million dollar cash game last season, and I think I showed here, she is dangerous in any form of poker and quite comfortable. People standing behind the camera. And I, I've slowed down quite And Gennaro with the pocket eights to the straddle. <laughs> so she's kind of got that online type stack that we're talking about when, when the uh, table's straddled, where the game effectively becomes 5,100. And she's sitting on about 9,500 bucks. And so she's only got about 95 blinds based on uh, uh, the stakes that we're playing on, on this hand with the straddle. Right, and so she's just called the 100. Now Trickett's re-raised re to 450. When it comes back around to Denara, I mean, she just wants to really call all the time here in a multi-way pot, or? I think so. Pretty much, yeah. I, I, I think so in, in, in a spot like this. I mean, she actually could, given Trickett's range is going to be pretty wide here, she could actually just shove all in right now. There's enough money in the pot, and it would certainly be profitable. But... You know, could it be more profitable just call, maybe flop a set and and get all the money in? But there's no way Trickett has nines or better anywhere near often enough, given how often he three bets to make uh, to make her play unprofitable. She just went ahead and went on. There's a lot of money in the pot, and her stack was actually pretty good for just shoving right there. Right, but she's probably thinking more in the terms of she doesn't have a rebuy. She's come all the way over here, and this is a pretty soft game. Exactly, exactly. I mean... That, that really changes the whole dynamic for her. I mean, she doesn't want to shove, get snapped off by kings, and say, see you later. <laughs> anyway, we've gotten to the turn here, and Viffer's still... Viffer thinks, maybe in his mind, they're playing the seven deuce, but not everyone else is aware of that yet. <laughs> well, now, he, he was doing a Bruno here, just launching into the pot, right? Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Is three barrels going to take this? So Tricky makes a good, good call here. He's putting Viffer on a lot of uh, uh, big draws with, well, the, with his call. Th there's here. like 11 grand in here now. Viffer basically has. Well, he's got he's got double pie. He's got about 20 something thousand back, and Sam's got about 18 thousand back. How much does he have to bet to win this? Well. See, he could think Trickett has the draw a lot, so he could think Trickett has something like a, you know, jack eight of diamonds or something, and he might think that uh, Trickett's made something really marginal at this point. Wow, Viffer's got a heart here, and Trickett seriously tested for the first time. He's working through all the potential hands he could have. I can promise you, I know one hand he's not thinking through right now, seven deuce. <laughs> There's no way, you know, I mean, he's got him on all these. He's trying to figure out if he'd bet, like, jack 10 here for value. He's trying to figure out, you know, what would he bet a hand like king jack of diamonds for value. He, He's got him on some hand like that. Viffer. Look at Viffer just sitting there. He's got it. The Show him, hands. baby. Show him, baby. That's all right. You're king queen. No, 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 no. 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 All right. Right? <laughs> no? I don't know. Oh. I, we're not playing the do seven? <laughs> that was a good wow. Time. You bet a little bit more, I call. Wow. I'll tell you what, yeah, Trickett's nose is opened up. He's not going anywhere. This wow. game is awesome.